Hey guys, hope you're all well. Uh, just an update on my Sisters of Battle. I've uh, been doing a fair few different things with the army recently. Played a lot of games, uh, been running different kind of lists. Uh, but most recently I've uh, I've just been using a hell of a lot of different transports really. Um, I used to use all rhinos for the army. I'm, uh, I'm now using repressors. I've got a fair few Forge World ones. I think I've got two or three of those Forge World ones. They're really nice models, brilliant kits. But I wanted something different for the army. And I wanted uh, still you know, another three or four repressors. But I wanted them to all look different so they look like relics. Uh, and that's really what I've tried to do with what I'm going to show you in a second. I put up some photos on my Facebook page a couple of weeks or months ago, uh, just of the, the top part that I had uh, scratch built using some plastic card. And last week I dug it out of the cabinet because I wanted something a bit different to do and decided to finish it off and add all the ancillary weapons and details and bits and bobs. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's heavily sistered up, so it's loads of uh, Forge World uh, front armor, side both the side armor doors that have been of the Forge World ones. You know, you've got the scrolls from Forge Worlds, um, and obviously you've got the rear door as well. And I've taken the top hatch or one of the side hatches from the Sisters of Battle tank accessory sprue. I think that comes with the Exorcist and the Emulator, um, and I've really added it all together to try and make it look a little bit different from a normal presser. This part is a little bit taller than the Forge World one. I have done it on purpose. I wanted it to look bigger and more bulkier. It just looks a bit different, maybe like a, a different mark repressor. That's what I've tried to do. Just something a little bit different. It's got the wooden extra armor that one of my friends kindly uh, made for me from Laser Cut MDF. I've got a fair few bits of this left. I'm going to be putting it on a lot of the tanks in my army. Um, it's got a standard weapon loadout, so heavy flamer and a storm bolter. That's just from a Space Marine access tank accessory sprue. Uh, it's from a Sentinel, uh, a heavy flame from a Sentinel, the front shield from a heavy weapons team, Imperial Guard, and obviously the fuel canister from uh, Acadian Flamer. Uh, the Capola itself is from the Sisters of Battle uh, uh, tank accessory sprue. It doesn't swivel, I've glued it firmly down just because uh, it, I didn't cut into the plastic card to make a hole for it to turn. I should have done, I'll be doing it probably on the next one that I make. Um, but that's really what I've used on there. It's just got a standard Sister of Battle um, from the same tank accessory sprue in there, actually, you know, wielding the weapon. And uh, then obviously what I've done for the uh, the front um, sensor array is just a Rhino light um, that I've basically stuck uh, the sensor from a heavy miss from a missile launcher, especially a missile launcher. You can either take it from the, the missile launcher that comes with Devastator Squad, or you can take it from the Marine tank accessory sprue. Uh, other little bits. So I've, uh, as you may or may not have noticed, it hasn't actually got um, Space Marine tracks, it's got uh, Imperial Guard tracks, that was done purely because I had, didn't have enough uh, Space Marine tracks to go on it, I had loads and loads of Imperial Guard so I stuck those all over, they don't fit the best in the world, I've had to do a lot of cutting and filing and you know take individual tracks from long sections of eight and fit them in, but, it, but it's come out okay, gives it a really different look, um, which is what I wanted. Uh, it just, just gives it a more sort of relic look, which is what I've tried to go for. Um, the smoke launchers, I think they're Imperial Guard as well. What I'm actually going to be doing, uh, now it's having, having it built and it's been sitting on my desk for a day or so, um, I do realise that repressors should have this ginormous dozer blade on the front, and I, as much as I love this dozer blade from, from the, the Sisters Tank Accessory Sprue, it's good. I'm probably going to rip this off, and I'm going to go down my local charity shop or fade in that Toys R Us and buy a cheap digger and just use the dozer blade off of that, because then it will fit in with the model properly, and it will actually look more like a repressor. The only other bits of bobs of work that I've got to do on this model are the fire points on the side, um, and adds maybe some banner work and stuff on here just to ca carry on the uh, Sisters sort of head heavily sort of like um, detailed and sort of like reddit light looking tank which is what I'm going to I'm trying to go for um, I do hope you like this guys it's uh, it's very easy to do you know the, probably the most difficult bit you know if you've never used plastic card before is getting this top part it's a lot of cutting and measuring but uh, but it's very simple to do uh, and I'm probably may do a, a how to video once I do the next one just to show you how to do it if you are interested uh, guys and you do collect sisters of battle I hope you like this guys let me know what you think in the comments below I, I do appreciate both negative and positive feedback it always does help um, if you like the video, please like it. And as always, guys, please subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. And I do appreciate you guys uh, sharing the ho my hobby time with me. Um, hope to see you on the next one. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.